Business in this transfer window has been nothing short of interesting. Some expensive, some free, some expected, some shocking. All sorts of business has already happened, but we still expect some more to happen before the new season kicks off. These are 10 shock transfers that can happen before the season starts. But before we get into that, we have something really interesting we want to show you. Watch this. Get your jerseys at goal90.shop. The link is in the description below. Of course, you can get a brand new PSG jersey, but have it at the back of your mind that Kylian Mbappe will likely not be playing for that club next season. He could be playing in Saudi Arabia. The most shocking transfer that could happen in this window is Kylian Mbappe to Al Hilal. The Saudi club has submitted a formal bid worth a potentially record-breaking 300 million euros to PSG. And guess what? The club has already accepted it. It's now left to the player to agree terms. The club is reportedly ready to pay Mbappe a world record salary and they're cool with him signing for just one year. It might seem crazy that Mbappe would even consider going to Saudi at the peak of his career, but this move could really happen because it solves all his problems. He wants to join Real Madrid for free next season and reports say that he has already even reached an agreement with the club, but PSG don't want to lose him for free. So he could use this as a gap year. Go to Saudi, earn insane amounts, play against his idol Cristiano, and then go to Real Madrid next summer at the age of just 25. It all still works out very well, so don't be surprised if this move actually happens this summer, however shocking it might seem. But while Mbappe might be leaving PSG, Harry Kane might be joining. Yes, throughout the summer, the names that have popped up for the England captain have been Bayern Munich and Manchester United, but they don't seem to be talking the amount that Spurs want to hear. But if they manage to sell Mbappe, PSG could certainly use a portion of that cash to purchase one of the best strikers in the world as they look to rebuild for the new season. Another striker PSG could steal from Man United is Rasmus Hoyland. The truth is that Man United are ahead in the race for the Danish striker and that the club and the player have even already agreed personal terms. However, Atalanta and United have not managed to reach a common ground on transfer fees and terms, and that's where it gets tricky because PSG have now entered the race. So there's a chance that PSG will offer an amount Atalanta deems reasonable and Hoyland would be off to France. And if Man United do miss out on Hoyland, then Randall Kolomowani will probably be their guy. Reports say that he is already in talks with United. The Frenchman has also been linked to Bayern Munich for the longest time, but now he could really end up at United. That move would be a shocker, but it really could happen. You know what else could happen? Rafinha to Man City. Manchester City have now lost Riyad Mahrez to Saudi, so they'll definitely be looking for a replacement, and Rafinha fits the profile perfectly. He's a traditional inverted right winger, he has Premier League experience and is played under coaches Xavi and Bielsa, whose styles aren't so different to Pep's. And yeah, we know Rafinha has claimed that Barcelona is his dream club and all that, but we're talking about the current European champions. If they call, you'd always be tempted to answer. Barcelona themselves certainly wouldn't mind. They're trying to make space in their wage bill, and then they have Dembele who does well in Rafinha's position. So with a good bid from City, Barcelona might consider Rafinha a necessary sacrifice. Another reason City might really want to get Rafinha is because Bernardo Silva could leave. He is the one guy on the City team who could have acted as a replacement for Mares, but he too could leave to join PSG this summer. It's almost certain that the Portuguese will leave City this summer. There's even a video of Grealish begging him to stay during the Champions League celebrations. Barcelona have always been interested, but it's difficult for them because of the price tag. But PSG could really pay what City wants and get him to come on over. It's not only Barcelona though, Saudi League was mentioned here and there regarding interest in Bernardo Silva. 
Now, Barcelona might not get Bernardo Silva, but they could get another Portuguese baller in the form of João Felix. The 23-year-old just recently revealed to Fabrizio Romano that Barcelona has always been his first choice and he'd love to join the Blaugranas. According to him, he'd love to play for the club and if it happens, it would be a dream come true for him. So now that it's clear what the player wants, it's left to the clubs to find a deal. Felix has obviously fallen out of favour with Simeone, so losing him won't be such a big deal for the Atletico boss. However, we're not sure Barcelona can pay what Atletico will be asking for, so maybe a loan deal like they did with Chelsea? Who knows? What's important here is that Felix wants to play for Barcelona, so that move might very well happen before the start of the new season. Another really interesting one that could happen is Joshua Kimmich to Liverpool. It might be hard for Bayern to let him go as he's a leader in their squad, but we can see it happening. Liverpool definitely need to sign another midfielder. Henderson, Milner, Oxlade-Chamberlain and Keita are all gone, while Thiago is injury-prone and Fabinho is way past his prime. An experienced, versatile and efficient guy like Kimmich would be perfect. We'll see how it goes. Another player Bayern are likely to lose is Sadio Mane, but what's shocking about this one is that he might be leaving Europe altogether. The guy finished second at the Ballon d'Or and was made Bayern's highest paid player just last year, and now he could be forced out of Europe? Dang! It's no secret that Mane struggled in his first season at Bayern, so the club is desperate to move him on. Mane wants to stay and fight for a place in the team, but it's looking more likely that he'll leave the club to join Al Nasser this summer. And still on the topic of Bayern, they're in the market for a new goalie now. Jan Sommer's move to Inter Milan is almost done, so they'll be looking to get a backup for Manuel Neuer, and that could just be Sevilla's Yassin Bounou. Sevilla are in a right financial mess right now, everybody is up for sale, so don't say no to Bounou moving to join Bayern Munich, or maybe even PSG. Which of these transfers would be the most shocking for you, and which do you think will actually happen? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.